Are you lacking a little bit of energy? Do you need a little bit of a boost? Or maybe you just want a tasty beverage. I got you covered. Introducing G Fuel, a sugar-free formula with loads of different flavors to choose from that'll give you a boost. These are a couple of the flavors out of the many that I really, really like. Now, G Fuel also has a non-caffeine line called Hydration, and these are absolute bangers containing a lot of electrolytes and vitamins. By using code SALT, you can get 20% off your purchase right now. Link in the description of the video. If you miss the SALT, it's not my fault. What's up at you? For today's video, we'll be full Generation 9 Confusing Pokemon Types team. So each generation I do a team like this, I pick six Pokemon out that I feel like could be a different type and I put them on one team. For example, the Paradox Pokemon, the Iron Paradox Pokemon could all be Steel. But since there's so many of them, I won't be using them on this team. I picked out six others. Let me tell you if you think uh, my picks were accurate or there's any other Pokemon you could have added into my team. I'd like to know your opinion and of course this is all my opinion too. First battle here, this one is a random on the uh, Poker Portal and we have a battle against a Dragonite. Wait, we, we have a battle against a trainer with a Dragonite. I'm not actually facing a Dragonite. It also, it's not shiny either. If someone wants to translate the uh, first trainer's name, be my guest, that'd be awesome. So Belly Bolt's going to be my first pick here and it is going to be electric type and I thought I'd do it as an electric water type because I feel like it definitely fits there and of course it gets a lot of water, and water type moves too so I think this definitely fits as a electric water type Pokemon. So this Dragonite I pretty much got around it by using my Acid Spray Parabolic Charge combination here with the special defense drop there and no multi-scale Dragonite went down in one shot, which is really, really cool. Now, I've got the item on this one as well as Big Root, which is going to give me some extra recovery there, and it's always good to have a Big Root. Now, we've got Water Pulse and Acid Spray there, and uh, Thunder Wave was the other option there. So, I can paralyze the opponent, and I can go for a Water Pulse and confuse him too for a little bit of Power Fusion. Next Pokemon is going to be the Leaf on here, and uh, we're going to go for Acid Spray again. Acid Spray does some impressive damage there to Leaf on. Now, Leaf on was actually a mix set. It had Giga Drain, then it had Leaf Flayer. I was like, that's pretty cool, you know? Maybe they'll watch a couple of Hypnite vids in their time. So go for another Acid Spray there, and that is going to be the end of the Leaf on, right? Um, now, today I had an amazing story for you. I was walking to the shop, right? And I was walking to the shop, and then this lady just completely sneezes all over me. So if I've got a cult, I'm blaming her, all right? <laughs> it's like, it's so annoying. Like, you could have coughed any other time, but like, not right on me. Anyway, so uh, that's the end of my belly bolt there. And I was get, I was going to get some sushi, right? I was looking forward to it. And then, you know, this, uh, I see this lady walking towards me. There, there, there's so many opportunities for, for, to cough, right? But she coughs right when I'm like, right next. <laughs> it's like, um, maybe it was the accent, but I don't know. It was super frustrating because she did it all over me. Next Pokemon's going to be the Sylveon, and it's going to have cute charm. So I've got Baxcalibur here, and Baxcalibur, I definitely feel, could be a dragon and steel type. It literally has a axe on the back of its back. Well, the back of its back. That's top narration there. So Sylveon's going to go for a Moon Blast here. Send me to the moon. I was like, please don't get infatuated here. I can't have this happen. And thank goodness I don't get infatuated. And that is the end of the Sylveon. But pretty cool. I got a cute charm Sylveon. Not an ability you get to see very often. So that's half the team down. Things are going pretty nicely. And the next Pokemon to come in here is going to be Lucario. So Lucario, I can go for a Zen head, but it's my best coverage move. Unfortunately, it's going to miss there. And I wasn't going to faint it anyway. The moves I had on my uh, Bax Calibur, Iron Head, Dragon Rush, Zen Headbutt, and Bite. Chopper Berry is the item. And we have Max Attack and Max Speed, Jolly Nature, and Thermal Exchange as the ability. So now we're going to go into Low Kick. So I feel like Low Kicks can definitely be a Bug and Steel type. It looks very metallic. And I'm going to kick the uh, Lakaru out of the battle, but it's got a Focus Sash. Now, I will say one thing here about Low Kicks as well. Um, it could possibly be a, um, other than the steel type it could also be a fighting type as well so i wasn't really sure which way to go with well, that one i was like oh i should do it steel so i do it fighting so i went for steel i sort of tossed the coin because i felt like it could uh you know be both of them there so lucario was a pretty interesting set there it was like a uh it was like a, a focus miss set which is pretty funny and now comes my ride on so my ride on is uh gonna get out spent and i'm gonna hit it with the leech side this one is a max speed our Jolly Nature Max Attack. We've got Axe Kick, uh, Terror Blast Steel with a Metal Coat as the item. Leech Life and Bounce. 
tinted lens as the ability. So I get a confusion on Marino, which is really cool. Uh, Axe Kick has a 30% uh, uh, chance of confusion, which is really cool. The only drawback to it, if you do miss it, you actually take 50% recoil damage, so it's kind of nasty. So here comes the Electro Drift there, and that is going to be the end of my uh, little low kicks there. But I reckon it does, does look very, very metallic-like. And uh, when I first seen it, especially its non-shiny arm, looks very, very metallic. -like. Next Pokemon is going to be Orthworm. So Orthworm, I feel, definitely could be a steel and ground Pokemon because it's only a steel type. This is a Pimite specialty. We've got Rap Dig, Smackdown, and Protect. Ability, of course, is Earth Eater, and item is going to be Grip Claw. The uh, Terra type, of course, is ground. I made the Terra on all these Pokemon that was the uh, second thing. Also, I nicknamed them too. So the, the one thing about this team when I nicknamed there, after people battled me for a while, they sort of cottoned on to what this team is about. So they knew that I have like a terror of that or like other moves to support it. So that made it a little bit like difficult, but it was still fun. So you got sometimes you got to wrap and then, then you got to tap. And then I'm going to get that going on the Marine on there. And that can sort of be my combination here. So I've got Grip Claw. What Grip Claw does, it makes the uh, trapping moves last seven. Seven turns, so it lasts for a very, very long time. And with the combination of uh, you know protect, and then you got smackdown, uh, and then D, you can hit like um, Pokemon that are flying in the air too, which is really, really cool there. So Autorm is uh, digging underneath the ground, but I got my dig KO denied by my right on fainting itself. So I was very sad and salty about that at the same time. But you know what? It uh, it sort of was the same result in the end there. So we got two more Pokemon. We got this uh, Lakaro, which is on one health. And it's going to go for a nice bunch of, like, don't you dare freeze. And it didn't freeze axe me, which is good there. And I'm going to go for a... Oh, damn, that smackdown. That was brutal. Right in the nether region. So that's the end of our Lakara there. I don't think Lakara is going to be having any kids. Now, the next Pokemon... <laughs> the next Pokemon is going to be Gyarados. And Gyarados uh, is going to have the Intimidate. And it's going to be a special set. This person's got some really cool sets. I'll give him that. And uh, Hydra Pump is going to take me out there with the crit. They, they took advantage of my ground typing. Man, so that's the end of Orthworm there. I've got two more Pokemon left. So my next Pokemon is going to be Grafire. And this Pokemon, um, I definitely feel, instead of being Poison Normal, it's Poison Dark. It definitely looks like a Dark type. So we've got a, uh, a little bit of a special sweep here, mixing with a bit of Pip Knight special. We've got Sludge Bomb, Terra Blast, uh, Terra Blast, uh, what, Terra Blast Dark, uh, Nasty Plot, and Metronome with Prankster. Black Glasses as the item there. So we're going to go for a Metro, and I got Gumcho. I'm like, come on, out of all the moves I got, I got the move that Gravivite normally uses on a physical set. Like, you wouldn't read about it. So anyway, I got Supersonic there. Supersonic is going to miss, and Gyarados um, is going to go for an outrageous outrage this time, and that's the end of my little Gravivite. I tried, people, I tried very hard there, but uh, I, I got my... No I should have just gone for a physical set. Last Pokemon is going to be Clawfia. Now, Clawf, I definitely feel, could be rock and water type. So We've got Crab Hammer, and we've got Terra Water, Stone Mist, Shadow Claw, and Vice Grip. I gave a Vice Grip for a troll, because I want to give you guys a little fact that no one's ever told you yet in Generation 9. Like, you watch this. So anyway, so Gyarados is going to go for an Outrage. Now, me being a uh, definitely not a troll, went for Vice Grip KO. He didn't take Gyarados out. And then watch this, right? Outrage ends, right? And Gyarados misses of Hydra Pump. If, I did, if that landed then, I would have lost... And the animation on Vice Grip, the color has actually changed from Generation 8 to Generation 9. They changed the color of Vice Grip, but didn't do other things in the game. Oh my god. Anyway, so let's go into battle number two, people. Only on Pip Knight's channel where you find out these amazing facts. What it was before, the Vice Grip, like the, the Crab Claw was actually orange, but they changed it to yellow. Like, it's true. Like, if you go back, you can actually see it. So uh, next battle here, we got a uh, Boot Birdie Elite here, and I'm going to go for a Dragon Rush. Unfortunately, it is going to miss. Now, Boot Birdie is going to have Rock Blast. I'd say they've got Rocky Payload as the ability too. I was like, I hope it doesn't have roll, uh, like loaded dice there, and it didn't. It only hit me three times, which is really good. So going for the Iron Head Flinch, this back's caliber is all about getting those flinches, but unfortunately, uh, Boot Birdie actually got around that. Matter of fact, I feel like they're running King's Rock on this set. Like, that seems pretty scummy. Now, the next Pokemon is going to be Grafiver. I'm hoping that I can get something happening here. I just went for the Sludge Bomb. It failed to take it out. And now Boot Birdie is going to go for a, uh, a parting shot there, dropping my attack and special attack. Actually, this is not a bad little Metronome user. I'm going to do a new Metronome team um, probably 
you know, very soon, within the next month or so. So, brand new Generation 9 Metronome team is coming up. Next Pokemon is Flamiga. It's got for a Mega Kick. Wait, its foot's not that big. Its foot's like tiny. That's just crazy. Anyway, so I got hit by Mega Kick there. Did a lot of damage. Very scared right now. So, I'm going to swap out and go into Orthorm. So, Orthorm should be able to take that Mega Hit with ease. And Mega Kick is going to miss. Mega Kick should definitely get that recall when it misses. I, I feel like that. Like, you got High Jump Kick. You even got Axe Kick. Like, all those when they miss, you get re uh, recall. So, I'm going for a wrap here on the Bombard. It's going to swap in, and that'll be enough to take it out at the end of the turn. The Ekans is once again putting in that work. So, bye-bye uh, there. We got one Pokemon down, which is good. Maybe, I think it's a Bird's theme. I think it is. We got, uh, yeah, okay. Iron Jugglers. I, 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 that's not really a bird, but it's a flying type. So Iron Jugglers is going to go for a electric terrain there. That's going to activate its ability. Now, I was thinking to myself, I could actually go for Smackdown here, and then I could uh, trap this in a wrap, and then I could go for the Dig Right. It is a flying type, so I've got to get around that. So firstly, go for the Smackdown there, bringing uh, the Iron Jugglers onto the ground, and now I can go for a Dig again. So before I do that, I want to trap it in. So they're going to go for an Air Slash there. I think they're trying to flinch me, some scumbag strategy, and I went for the wrap there. So now they're trapped in, they cannot escape, and I'm doing damage at the end of the turn. What I can do now is go for a dig, and then I can do a combination of that and protect. Uh, Dark Pulse does a lot of damage to me. So now I'm digging underneath the ground there, and I've got the damage. So it can't do anything this turn, unless it's got like, I don't know, like a, a boosting move or a healing move. So here comes a dig, it doesn't really do that much damage to the Iron Jugglers, but it got pretty close. So this turn, I'm going to go for the Protect here, and obviously I need one more turn. I know they're going to keep going for the Dank Pulse there against my Orthwarp. I'm hoping that I can get a double Scumbag Protect here and, you know, and win this matchup. So uh, we got some more Ekans damage. It lived on like one health, unfortunately, and I went for the Protect this turn. Also, the Electric Train's going to wear out, and it didn't work. Man, that, that really, really sucks. That's the end of Orthwarp, but hey, I got it down to one health, so I was pretty happy with that matchup. Now, the next Pokemon is going to be Grafifi, and I just went for the Sludge Bomb there. I, I was thinking about going for Metronome. I was like, wait, it's not going to work because of the typing. So that's the end of the Iron Jugglers. Oh, this is a battle against uh, Marionette as well, if I forgot to say that. So we're going to go for the uh, Metronome against Flamingo, and guess what? I got Rock Tomb. I was like, you wouldn't read about it. That was pretty good because I feel like this could be Choice Scarf. Um, you know, Choice Scarf is a very, very good item to run on Flamingo. You know? Choice Band or Choice Scarf are sort of like the best item. So that's going to drop its uh, speed, which is good. And now I'm going to go into Low Kick. So Low Kick should be able to take this out. I feel like they're definitely going to swap there. And we're going to have the Squawkability coming in. What? Okay, so Squawkability, right. What's going to happen? I'm going to go for the Bounce. Like, this is absolutely amazing stuff. So I went for the Bounce, right. Um, and now it's going to have the Flame Orb. So obviously I'm in the sky. Squawkability is going to get hit by the Bounce. Like, right? you know, pretty good damage. Then Squawkability goes for a fly. I'm like, wait a second. I can counter throw a Bounce. So it's flying up in the sky. I'm bouncing up in the sky. It's like musical like, chairs in the sky, right? So the fly is going to miss and the uh, the Bounce is going to land because obviously Obviously, uh, I went second there, which is pretty funny. So that's going to be of the score compared to their troll by uh, Bounce and Fly. The, the other moves I had on this, uh, if I didn't say I had Bounce, uh, Leech Life, Terra Blast, Steel, and uh, Axe Kick, yeah. So anyway, in comes the Flamigo. I'm going to get Brave Birded out of here, unfortunately. I could have had the uh, Terra Steel there. That would have actually been really, really good. But uh, I wanted to see what sort of uh, set it would be and if I get out sped. So uh, the Flamigo is going to land on one health there with a recoil. And now we're going to go into Claw. So this cloth was obviously an anger shell set too, and had scope lens as the item. So here comes Killer Watcher. I went for a vice group Kago, but I didn't actually get one on Flamigo, so I was very sad about that. So I'm going to swap out here before I get taken out by a Thunder Shock, and we're going to go into my uh, Belly Bolt. So here comes a Thunder Bolt. Killer Watcher's got a pretty good special attacking Pokemon, especially in the rain. Now they're going to go for Air Slash here. Now Air Slash has a chance to flinch, so I got flinched. I'm like, all right, we'll go for another attacking move here. And uh, he critted me this time. I'm like, man, that sucks. Then I got flinched again. I'm like, what the heck is going on there? So then there's another attack there and my, uh, I didn't get flinched this time and I went for a parabolic charge and that was enough to take out Killer Watchful. If I got flinched again for a third time in a row, I would have been like super salty. So that's the end of Killer Watchful. We got two more birds left there or two more flying types and uh, the next flying type is Watchful. Oh man, this is this is the most threatening Pokemon. So they saved the terror for Watchful, right? Only your people are shouting here. Watch this shit. Alright, so here we go. We've got uh, Watchful here with a uh, Terror Electric. 
So Terra Electric is going to power up its electric type moves even more. I'm actually starting to get very scared here at the moment. It's gone for a fly. I don't know how much it can do to me. So I went for a water pulse here. It gets it. Here comes the fly. It did... I'm not sure if it actually changed. Like, did it do any damage? I think it did four damage to me. And I went for Water Pulse. Now it's going to go for a Spark. Trying to spark up the relationship here. And Spark does probably a little bit more damage than Fly does. I am just keep spamming Water Pulse over and over again. And I finally got a Confusion, which is awesome. So, like, okay, cool. I can finish it off this turn, right? Now, interesting enough, the Water uh, the Wattrel is going to go for a Roostia. And uh, I should go in my YouTube videos. I should go like, you know, what's up, YouTube? Wattrel's up, YouTube? And put like a little... No, nah, that would be kind of creepy. Anyway, so it's going to go for the quick attack there. That was his other move. And Acid Spray is going to be enough to take out the Wattrel there. I get why they did that. They put the light bulb on its head. You know, get it? Wattrel. That was very, very clever. Next Pokemon is the Flamigo. It's got one more health left. They're going to go for the close combat. And that is the end of my Belly Bolt. Now, this Pokemon can easily take out my Clawk with one close combat. There's no way I'm going to live this. So what I have to do is I've got to go for the Terra Water. So we're going to go for Terra Water Vice Grip. Here it comes, people. It's only going to drop once. Now, I was hoping that I didn't get critted or anything like this because that would be very, very bad. And I'll be very, very sad. So I've got my Clown Mode hat on there. And your Clown Mode activated. Ah, oh, the water one. This looks so bad. And uh, now I'm going to go for the Vice Grip. Here comes the close combat. That definitely would have taken him out if I was still a rock type. And now we got the another nice little Vice Grip KO there. You know, this is where Game Freak put all their, their budget. They put it into, like, the, uh, the catching Vice Grip. And Ed Sheeran. That was the three things I put it in. <laughs> I can't believe they changed the color of Vice Grip out of all the moves. Anyway, so that's the end of battle number two there. Thank you, Matt Redeff, for the battle. And let's get on to battle number three. So battle number three, this is the battling ends. TM69, and uh, this is a random battle too. And we got a Cricketune lead here, so um, I hope you enjoyed that cry. Now, I know what Cricketune's obviously going to do here. It's going to be setting up the uh, Sticky Web. So go for the Stone Miss. It does a miss, which is good. And Cricketune is going to land on one hell. So with this cloth set, I was trying to get as many Vice Trip KOs as possible for, like, ultimate disrespect. You know, plus... It was really, really good because it actually looks like a, a crab bar animation. So there we go. Another. Wow, it got its legs cut off. So Cricketune. No, Flamigo. Cricketune. Who else got him cut off? I, I, I can't remember. It's another Pokemon. But we've been delegging a lot of Pokemon. In comes. Uh, What's the name of that Great Tusk? I have to read that again. So we, in comes the uh, gr uh, Great Tusk there. I think it's called Grand. Gr Grandma? Anyway, so Grandma Great Tusk comes in there. I'm going to go for a Terra Crab Hammer because this Pokemon is going to be quite a threat. This team was actually very, very competitive too. So I went for the Crab Hammer there. Excellent damage on Great Tusk there. And uh, it's going to go for an Earthquake, which definitely would have been super effective and taken me out. Or very, very close to taking me out. And another Vice Grip KOs and Don Fan Fates as well. The opponent must be getting a little bit salty off those Vice Grip KOs. Next Pokemon is going to be Among Us. This thing was really boring. It just stalled for the whole battle. Um, I didn't really have much to do to it, so I just went for Stone Mist. Unfortunately, I didn't get a critical hit there. And they could just press the A button with Giga Drain. So this, po uh, this Pokemon is going to be a bit of a problem because I don't really have a lot to hit it with. Uh, my Pokemon, my Max Calibur, right? I didn't give it an Ice move because I didn't want it to associate it with being an Ice type. I wanted it to be like Dragon and Steel. So I was like, okay, well, the next best move I've got in there is Zen Head. But they were lucky I didn't have an Ice type move because that would have fainted easily there. And they've ro ro got their little Rocky Elba and now they're going to press Spore. So the opponent pretty much just you know, kept Sporing me throughout the whole battle. Uh, that's one time I wish I did. Like, that's any other Max Calibur would have had, a, had an Ice move there. But it is what it is, right? So uh, we got uh, Spore. Uh, Ball putting him to sleep. And now they're going to go for a foul play. So foul play does pretty good damage to me. Uh, we got the Grafaya come again. So I went for... I think I just went for uh, Zen Headbutt again because they're both weak to Zen Headbutt, which is a bit of a risky uh, swapping, actually. So it's going to go for a knockoff. That's the end of my Choppleberry. Uh, I was asleep for a couple of turns, and then I woke up and took Grafaya. So that really wasn't a threatening Pokemon anyway. It was more the Among Us sort of got off scot-free there and got its regenerator boost back. So the next Pokemon is going to be King Gamba. I didn't have much to hit this with either. I, it's not like I don't even have any fighting-type moves at all. I think I've got, like... 
my Orthworm with no attack EVs in ground. So that was like my, one of my best Pokemon to swap in here. So clearly there was a lot of counters to come up with so far. So my uh, King Gambit is going to go for, uh, I think they were going to go for Coattail Cleave or Sucker Punch. And they went for the Sword Dance. I'm like, okay, it's just a generic, uh, you know, King Gambit setting. Like, what can I even do to this thing? So I just went for the Rap here. Like, that was the best thing I could do. I could have gone for a Dig, but then they probably just would have set up more Sword Dance. So there we go. We got a little bit of Rat damage, I guess. And they got like a free uh, attack boost. Here comes Coattail Cleave. Obviously, it's going to take me out in one shot. That's a very powerful Pokemon. So that's the end of that. Oh, I'm going to bring in my Belly Vault here. I wasn't sure whether I could outspeed here. And it's going to go for Coattail Cleave outspeeding me. Obviously, it's going to one-shot me. That's a very powerful Pokemon. Very easy to do. And that's the end of Belly Vault. Next Pokemon is going to be Low Kick. So I've got um I've got one move here, which is going to be Axe Kick. I wasn't sure whether I'd be able to outspeed it. But I've got Jolly Nation. It's like, I might have a chance of outspeeding. And I did. I got the Axe Kick off. And that is the end of the King Gamba there, which is good. So that was critical. It didn't matter either uh, with that big four time. So I've got two more Pokemon left. We've got the Amoongus, which should have fainted earlier on. And we've got the uh, one more Pokemon. So Amoongus, um, all I could do is go for Bounce here. I just went for Bounce. That should do some pretty good damage. And they're going to obviously spam Spore. And uh, that's going to miss, obviously. Now the Amoongus is going to swap out again. Now, there's one other Pokemon they got is Toxtricity. So, like, this is actually another good counter for my team because I can't really do too much. So, Bounce misses, which sucks. I would have got some nice extra damage there. And they're just going to press the A button with Boom Burst. So that's the end of Low Kicks. That crit didn't matter there. Uh, it's a very, very powerful move. Next Pokemon is going to be Confide. Now, watch this. This is this is actually quite momentous. I went for the Metronome. A momentous Metronome, right? And watch this. I actually got a signature move. I got Bleak, uh, Bleak Wind Storm from Legends of Arceus, which is really cool. And that actually dropped the speed by one stage, which is really, really cool. Otherwise, I would have got outsped there when they were spamming Boom Burst there. So, obviously, I'm going to faint there uh, to that. It's a very, very powerful move. And I've got uh, one more poke life being the Vax Calibur. Since I got Bleak Wind Storm, I was like, I might be able to outspeed uh, Toxtricity and go for Zen Headbutt. And I did, which is really cool. And that is the end of Toxtricity, which is very, very nice. Last Pokemon is the Among Us. Now, Amoongus has a lot of health back because I think it got like a two or three regenerator swaps there. And now they're going to go for a Terra. I was like, okay, well, it's probably going to be Terra Poison, Terra Water. One of the types that you know, usually always runs is going to be Terra Water. So not much of a surprise there. All I can really do is try and go for a flinch here against it. But I'm going to need a lot of flinches. Uh, because you know, it's very, very bulky. So I went for Zen Headbutt, and yeah, that was pretty much it. That was the end of the battle. They went for Spore instead of uh, Foul Play for some reason. But yeah, that's the end of the battle, people. I got very, very close there against a very, very meta team. I was pretty happy with that one. So uh, let's get on to our battle number four here. Uh, this is a battle against uh, Justin. That's oh, a little cool trainer. Car. It looked like it was holding up the little uh, the little deli bird there. So first Pokemon is going to be the uh, Salamence. So Salamence is going to be uh, a pretty good counter for this team, but I'm going to go for Metronome here. So it's going to drop my attack. Good thing I'm running a special attacking set. So first things first, we're going to go for a nasty plot. Now, the Salamence is actually not going to attack me. It's going to go for a Tailwind. It's going to set up its speed and everything like that. So, I was like, okay, well, I'm not sure what set it's going to be. Let's go ahead and go for Sludge Bob. It's going to go for a Zen Head Button. That's the end of Grafire there. So, okay, fair enough. That's that's the end of that. Uh, not much I could have done there. So, now I'm going to go into the Orthworm. So, Orthworm probably needs that. This is like really my only Pokemon that can do anything against this because it's so bulky, right? So, what I'm going to do first is go for the smack down there. I can like when Orthworm actually uh, attacks sometimes, its little blue legs come out of the little blue holes. That's kind of cool. So now I've got the uh, smack down going. Salamence can be hit by ground type moves. And I've trapped it in with Rap there too. So that's good. I can go for the uh, Rap combination and then I could go for Dig too. The good thing about Dig... Uh, is why you're underneath the ground there. It's still doing rat damage. Another item I possibly could have given this would be leftovers too. So why I'm underneath the ground invulnerable, I can get some more healing back there. Uh, so go for dig against the Salamance. Obviously, it's not going to do very much damage there. And Salamance is going to have a Citrus Berry. So, like, oh, that really sucks. So, I'm going to need to get some more damage. But it's all good. It's just going to take a little bit longer to actually find it. So, Salamance can't do much here. I'd say if it has Earthquake, it can't do Earthquake because I've got Earth Eater and that'll heal me. So, it's got like Zen Head Bite, Dragon Claw. I'd say Dragon, uh, sorry, Tailwind and Earthquake. I'd say that's what its moveset is there. So, it can't do anything to me at all. So it's going to go for Zen Headbutt again. Now that one actually misses and Salamance is going to faint here to the rap combination. So that is the end of the Minty Green Salamance. Now the next Pokemon is going to be Magnezone. Now I can do 
a dig to Magnezone. That's about it. And now they're going to go for a Terra Magnezone. So like, okay, guys, this is interesting. I wonder what Terra it's actually going to be. And it's going to be Terra Water. So like, oh, okay, that's that's kind of cool. Um, I was almost pretty close for going for like a Terra on my Orthworm there. Go for a Terra a Ground type. And I'm glad that I didn't because this thing actually has Terra Blast Water. So I would have got absolutely like dominated there. So go for the dig on the Magnezone. It doesn't really do too much. Here comes the Terra Water. Coming off Magnezone's big special attack. Also, special defense isn't really all that good either. That might have mattered because I was max health, max special defense, but there was no way I was ever beating Magnezone with my Orphan. So we're going to go into the Belly Bolt now. I'm going for Parabolic Charge on Magnezone, which it's super effective, which is kind of weird. But uh, yeah, it's, I'm getting some good damage there. Out goes the Magnezone, and in comes the, uh, the Pyro. Yo, I gotta do a Pyro team. I gotta do like Pyro, male, female, and Lit Leo. I've actually never done that team before, so maybe this year I'll, I'll do that. I can't wait to try these new Pokemon I haven't used for ages. Well, not new, but I just haven't used them for ages on the uh, in the main series games. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go for a Terra Water myself. We both got our Cloud Mode on, and here comes the Dank Pulse here that are trying to flinch me, going for the Water Pulse here on the Pyro. Good damage, but not quite enough to take it out. Here comes another Dank Pulse there. They're really trying to go for that Fleech, and unfortunately for them, they didn't get it. And I can finish them off with the uh, Parabolic Charge there, which is uh, really quite nice. I like Parabolic Charge. It's quite an interesting move. It works well on Pokemon that have a lot of um, have a fair bit of bulk, and it helps them sustain themselves, right? So that's the end of uh, the Pyro. Now, the Magnezone's going to come back in here. I just went for Parabolic Charge and got rid of it. So maybe they thought it was close to like a speed tie or something like that. But uh, that is the end of the Magnezone. So that's half the team gone now, which is pretty cool. I quite like our uh, Water Terror on Magnezone too. Next Pokemon is going to do Zangus. And this is going to be uh, pretty scary because it's going to go for Protect. And as soon as you say Protect on Zangus, it's most definitely going to have a Toxic Orb. And it's going to have the Toxic Boost ability which is going to be a combination of that and facade at the same time which hits very very hard and it's very very fast too so here comes the facade easily going to take my belly bolt out there and I could have probably done three quarter damage to belly bolt it's very very powerful so that's half my team gone now too so the only Pokemon which I feel like has a chance of actually living in here is going to be Claw. Now it could have close combat, but I decided not to. Uh, I decided not to swap into other Pokemon. I just went for Stone Miss there. Fortunately, uh, that didn't happen. They went for Airways there. I want to say they went for Airways instead of Facade to not activate my Anger Shell. And yeah, so next Pokemon is going to be Heracross. Um, I know a close combat is coming our way, so I went for the Stone Miss there. I got the critical hit, and that is the end of the. Heracross, which is good, because that would have easily beaten me. Next Pokemon is going to be Lakari. It's their last Pokemon. I know a fighting type moves coming away, and they went for the Sword Dance. Like, oh, okay. I hope that I can get a crit here. So I went for the Crab Hammer. Crab Hammer doesn't crit, and Lakari is going to go for a Meteor Mash. That is the end of my cloth, and they got an Attack Rise on top of the Sword Dance. Jeez, that's a lot of attack. So I've only got two more Pokemon left. Next Pokemon is going to be the Low Kicks. I've got the uh, Axe Kick ready to go here. I've got Jolly Nature. And thank goodness I outsped it because I would have definitely ended up losing that one. And that is the end of all four battles. Hope you enjoyed today's uh, video. I'll have another one up or maybe another two up tomorrow. Peace out, people.